Chambermusic.com. What's good? What's good? What's good? Chambermusic.com. Yeah, GP's yeah, yeah. in the building, the grain. GP the grain, baby. You ready? Alright. Mm hmm. You're listening to Chamber Music Radio on Live365.com, and I'm Maui K, your old dirty hostess with the Shaolin Moses, right here coming at you from the depths of the 36 Chamber, straight from the grain to you. We got G Club behind the camera today. What's good? And we got GP Wu. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> GP formerly known as Wu. GP formerly known as Wu. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Alright, fellas, what's the official I'm name? Let them say it. Because the fans and everybody else believe still believe associates you with that. Let the fans know and let us know what is the official name of the group. JP the Grain. The Check grain. that shirt out. I like that shirt. <clears throat> yeah, like we got shirts. confused, twisted, thank you, sweetie. Let's, let's get, let's <laughs> I like the shirts too. The shirts. Yeah, let's see those shirts. Oh, those shirts are kind of flying. It's crazy, man. You're going to be selling these Check shirts? Check out the back. You're going to be selling them. Check out the back. Selling them. Oh, let me tell you, you got some uh, customers. Let's get some yeah, shirts in the store. Yeah, we, we got, got, we got shirts for sale. Definitely, definitely got yeah. shirts for sale. Just, we online. We'll get all that information to y'all. All right. All right, let's get started with the questions. I'm starting with uh, Pop. Pop the Brown Hornet. That'll be all right. What's all up? What's right. good? What's up, Chamber? Chambermusic.com. What's the question? What do y'all want to know? Well, we need to know why you didn't record a, vor a verse for Pork Chops. Because I wasn't really around at the time. That's why I didn't record a verse for Pork Chops. And that'll be the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's like, it's like you know, when we in the studio working up magic, some brothers got, you know, we got we got lives too, you know what I'm saying? So he, you come to different states. If, if so, yeah, different states all over, you know, but somebody might not be able to make it to the studio, so that's what happened in Brown's situation this time around. All right. But I, I agree with some of the, you know, some majority of the work. Opinions yes. <laughs> expressed. <laughs> Also, the obvious question, are you guys getting back together to do another album? Definitely, man. Definitely. All Actually, day. We never, we never really, we never broke up. So, <laughs> it's like when you say get back together, it's like, it's, that sounds foreign to me because we never really broke up. We just got our own lives and we was living them. But Pop's still been doing music. I've always been writing. June just came into making beats and he's crazy with it right now. And he's always been writing. I mean, he's still he's been recording music and songs and all that. So everybody's always been in the music. We never stop doing that. Hopefully, God willing, yes, we'll be bringing you some GP the Green music from out of Staten Island, New York. Yeah, how it's already in right. production. Stapleton, you know, Stapleton, you know, peace to everybody else. Stapleton. Now born West Brighton, Killer Hill, you New know what Brighton. I'm saying? New Brighton, even all the way on the other side, Toe Hill and all them. You Poor know Rich, I mean? man. Poor Rich, man. You know how we do, everybody. man. Where I live, Princess Bay, I got the man. But yo, I also, also want to give a uh, shout out to Rubber Bands. He couldn't make it here, like we said before. Absolutely. Like we said before, every, Bonbanzini. Bonbanzi, everybody can't make it to certain interviews or maybe he can't even make it to the studio that day because... So a lot of his fans, I might see this or whatever, yes, Bonbanzi, rubber bands are still part of GP. Basically right? that. Just in case you, he's not here, but he's you know, here in spirit. Yes. Question. You know. But um, yeah, peace out to Bonbanzi, nigga. We see you. Keep making that murder music, baby. Alright, when was the last time you guys were in contact with RNS? He's kind of disappeared lately. Was that really a question? <laughs> Who asked that question? Somebody probably from Europe. Europe? Oh, somebody uh, probably from Europe. RNS? Well, Are you might be out there in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> that was RNS that said that. Yo, oh, stop playing. Son. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Yeah, you know. He's, he's, he's still an illest producer, and I haven't met, well. I mean, right here, he, right he, now, he might sir. be climbing on his toes. Nah, but let me stop. All still good. I'm, I haven't seen him in a minute, but I'm, I'm going to see him today. Pops probably sees him all the time. Yes, I've seen uh, uh, my New York Giants one. Uh, ah! I don't know. He's not really a Giant fan. He's, from, he's got it's Cowboy hiding. fans. This, that, and the third. So I've seen them, and they disappeared. You know what I mean? Big Blue in the building. So RNS, just, he still lives, and he's alive. Well, you know, RNS... For the fan that asked that question, I'm pretty sure you know since you asking about R, uh, that boy is, 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 he's a machine when it comes down to making them beats. He's retarded. And of course, you already know he done taught the RZA, and he taught a lot of other people. Colodro, you know what I'm saying? If y'all know Colodro, he's mm -hmm. Staten Island too, and he gave him insight and 
and Colosio is a monster. Mm -hmm. I got production from him, and we probably get some production from him also, you know, from the new album that we putting together. Yeah, he works a lot with King Just. King Just, that's my boy, KJ, mm -hmm. all day. Shout out to KJ. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll see him on Friday night. Yeah, Yo, Joe. Yeah. At the Phil Anastasia show. And let them know. K um, we GP the Grain, and King Just is like sibling, stepbrother from Paul Kill. Yes. He knows Brown Bomber down low. We all used to, he used to come through battle. Him and down low used to have some of the liveest little battles. They used to have the light skin battle thing going on. <laughs> Me too, on a bus, you know I mean? on New York. What? Yeah, when we was in New York? Right? Yeah. He used to love them things. But King man. just know who the, you know what I mean? The Emperor's B. Okay, okay. Love is love. Love is love, love, baby. He's a good brother. Yeah, man. Hey, we're going to get at you, KJ, for real. What's that? KJ is doing a GP? What? <laughs> K, 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 KJ, KJ is, is one of the live brothers out there. We got respect no for doubt, KJ. No he rolled the underground with us, and he's well-deserved. Mm -hmm. He brought the first summer jam. <coughs> he doesn't get his just due. Right, right, right. He's right. a very talented, gifted artist from Staten Island as well. That hey, y'all ho. Much love. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all ho. If the hope. GP, here's a question for me. If the GP and the Shallon Soldiers had a scrimmage, who would win? Shallon soldiers? Yeah. Who's you know, what? Fingerball. <laughs> you just answered that. I'm calling somebody soldiers. Oh! <laughs> Green Berets and better over here, man. Oh, man. No disrespect to the Shallon soldiers, but you're dealing with the grain here. The grain. All right, all right. We won't ask about the Wu-Tang. Let's keep it going. Okay. okay. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. This was for Down Low. You did a lot of production on the Grain album. Do you still produce? I passed that baton. The Grain album was pretty much more forced on me. I always had a production bug in me, but it was, I mean, that's not pretty much a long story. Of course he was producing. He got like two twins coming right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's a major producer. Are those ASR babies or FP? They, they, they ASR babies. Of course, of course, all day. Right now they jam Ooh. with babies because one of, one of my sons is making, well, my only son is making, is making beats right now, but... I mean, I pretty much passed that. that he's not using Fruity Loops, is he? Nah, nah, he's using Jam Glue. Okay, okay, that's better. <laughs> but um, <laughs> now nah, the first album pretty much was it was like a it was a, it was a force for me, and it taught me a lot about producing. I never really wanted to produce. I played around with it here and there, but it was I did it for my brothers for the GP album so we could get it done and fulfill our contract or whatever. But I'm gonna get back into it since somebody you know, asked about it. <laughs> you know, so I'm gonna get back into it eventually, but right now, no, okay. I'm, not, I'm not producing any beats right now. Nah. But who is? Jooks. Who? Who? I'm like Mike Joe. Who? Let me out here with my man got in store for y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little, you know. I just started, but son, I'm crazy with it though. It's like you know, my cousin all <laughs> coming up underneath R and S. Right. All them years, it's like it, it, Brown Hornet can produce right now for real, for real, you know. Yeah, matter of fact, I got to take it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm take the kids on the way. But, I'm trying to get to Europe and we're all. <laughs> but yeah, but you know, man, like I said, coming up underneath the the master, the teacher of all that is like, man, the air is there, man. You know, I got it, I got it for real. It's like, you know how some people get the acting bug after they first, you know what I'm saying, commercial or they first on set deal, they got, they, now they got the bug. That's what I got right now. I got that producing bug for real. No doubt. Yeah.